Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll let you know whether doing a factory reset or a format data will remove root from your phone or not. In other words, if you do a format data, will your phone will be unrooted or not? That is what we are going to check in this video. So do note that the steps are applicable across all the Android phones and across all the Android version. It's a universal rule. So whatever will happen on my phone should happen across all the Android phone as well. So with that said, as you could see, currently my phone is rooted by a Magisk. I've obtained root and it's the latest build of Magisk and the Magisk app is also the latest. Likewise, for the sake of reference, I have installed a few modules as well as you could see. And I've even installed the LS Post module and inside LS Post module, I installed one more module as well. So we'll also verify if doing a reset will remove these modules or not. So apart from the root, we will also check if the module survive a reset or not. And if the modules are able to survive the reset, for example, let's assume LS post survives a reset. Then we'll verify if the module inside the LS post, which in my case, I've taken Android faker. So then we will check if the Android faker module is able to survive a re re reset or not. So just to be more specific, first off, we will do a format data and check if we are able to survive the root survive or not. If the root survive, then we will check if the magis module survive or not. And if the magis module survive, then we will verify if the module files survive or not. So without any further delay, let's get started. So this is the root checker app as well. If you want to double verify, let me show you that as well. So as of now, as you could see, my phone is rooted by magis. So I have magis installed. So first off, let me do a factory reset and then we'll verify the process. So the steps of doing a reset might vary, but in most phones, it's across the system menu itself. So as of now, I'm choosing erase all data factory reset, then tap on erase all data, then hit the confirm button. Again, tap on erase all data and it will now wipe off all the data from our phone. And once that happens, it should then automatically reboot your phone to the OS within a few minutes so it depends on the number of data that your phone has and the phone that you are owing in most cases the phone might boot to the stock recovery and from there it might do a reset but the reset process is done automatically you don't have to do anything on your behalf as of now i am using a oneplus phone but the steps should be near about applicable across all the phones and once you have done a reset the first boot up might take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's just wait for a few seconds and then we'll move ahead. Then as of now, so with this, we are now booted to the OS. And as of now, I'll skip the initial setup process and take you to, to the OS. So let me skip all the stuff, set my phone offline. It will only take a few seconds. So let's just wait for all this and let me skip this as well just a minute it will take only a few seconds so guys as i was saying since we have done a format data you will not get any app or any apk file on your phone so only you will see the pre-installed apps and this is the reason why you will not see the magis app or the apk on your app drawer on the home screen but that does not mean or that might not mean that magis is not installed it might be the case that the magis file or the super su file might still be there in the back end so you cannot simply verify it by you having a look at the app drawer instead you will have to take the help of an app the name of the app is ruru which is ruru -R -U. you could install that app from my guide as well i made a separate guide on the same so refer to my guide and install this app and this will tell you whether you have the magis and super su files in the backend or not as of now the front end does not matter we have to verify the files in the backend so you could download the app from my guide on the github as well so i've given the github link this is the link for the the app you could get the apk from here i have already got the apk so let me simply transfer the apk file or just a minute, let me download the APK file once again. It's a small APK, it will take only a few seconds. So let's just 
transfer the apk file onto our phone now and then we'll install the apk file as well so with this we have got the apk file it's extremely important that you, you should verify the app using the Duru app itself and don't simply have a look at the app drawer so let's now move ahead and install the Ruru app you have to enable unknown sources as well once the app has been installed tap on open and as you could see under the abnormal environment it's showing a virus icon by virus icon we mean found so it has found something let's expand it and as you could see the su file and the magis file is still there on our phone so even after doing our format data and factory reset our phone is still rooted but if you simply have a look at the app drawer you might not be able to view any magis file so don't view don't verify the root status using the app drawer or the app file you should always use an app such as ruru or any other app on this domain and verify it from here all the others are fine but as you could see the su file and magis file is installed onto our phone so this means that in the back end the magis is still there on our phone so we could now simply root our phone by installing the magis app and then updating the app to the latest build so let's do it and let me show you that as well so with this we have at least check mark this requirement which signifies that our after doing a factory reset the root will survive your phone will stay rooted even after doing a factory reset so this was the first thing apart from that as you could see the expose hooks and all the other files are unchecked or it's it is check marked which means not found so after doing a factory reset all the modules ls post modules expose framework all the other modules are removed it is only the magis file which remains on your phone so as you could also see from here the redo expose pwrp and nothing else is found so just to recap if you do a factory reset it will not remove root from your phone however it will remove the magis app and also it will remove all the modules such as the ls pose and all the modules inside the ls pose so you will lose all the modules but the root file will still be there on your phone so the root will not be gone even after doing a factory reset so if you now want to root your phone what you have to do is simply install the latest magis apk file onto your phone because we already have the magis in the back end so let's try that approach so let me copy the magis file and paste it in onto my phone so this is completely optional i am just showing you how to root it if you want you may root it or skip it so if i now install the magis app tap on open it will ask for additional setup tap on okay now choose direct install and tap on let's go it will now patch and flash the boot img once that is done tap on reboot and your phone will now boot to the os but it will take around 30 to 40 seconds which is completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's just wait and in rare cases magis might ask you to do the same process once again so let's first launch the magis app and verify it happens in some cases that it might ask you to install additional dependency once again let me see if that is the case with me or not so let's me now launch the magis app and check out the result if i now launch the magis app as you could see we have got the latest magis build installed onto our phone since currently i am offline so it's showing as app version is not available that's not a cause of concern because we already have the installed version and the magis is also installed and that is the only thing that matters so with this we have obtained root once again so now that we have got root let's now move ahead with the next step and now i'll show you what happens if you do a format data using twrp but for that let's simply flash a module as well so as of now let me flash an ls post module and then we'll verify if the ls post module survives a format data or not and we have got the Zygis release likewise in the magis app let me enable the Zygis version as well once that is done let's flash the Zygis module ls post module tap on ok and just hit reboot and with this our phone will now restart and we have got the ls post framework as well i have simply installed the ls post framework just to verify if doing a format data via twrp is able to survive the 
LS Post framework or not. So in other words, we will be checking if the LS Post framework and this module is able to survive a format data via DWRP or not. So let's just wait for a few seconds and then we'll verify that as well. So with this, we have got the LS Post app in the back end. Let me now install the LS Post app in the front end as well. Just give me a minute and I will install the APK file of LS Post. Install LS Post from here. And then I'll also install any random module. So let's go ahead and install the module from here just to verify. So let's go to the release section and assets. Install the APK file onto our phone. And it will take only a few seconds. So let's install the APK file. Hit install. So with this, we have installed LS Post as well. And we have also installed one of the modules of LS Post. Let's enable it for any aspects. Okay, so. So guys, as of now, the my current status is I have obtained root and I have flashed a module in Magis, which is the LS Post module. And inside LS Post module, I have installed another module, which is named Android Faker. So now I'll do a format data using TWRP recovery. And then let's verify if doing a format data remove the root and remove the module or not. So let me get that job done. So let's enable USB debugging as first. Let's enable developer option. Now let's enable USB debugging. It will take only a few seconds. So let me now go to the platform tools folder. And first off, let's boot our phone to the fast boot mode. And now I'll boot my phone to the TWRP recovery. So since we are using the recovery for one time usage, I will not flash it, but just boot it for one time usage. So this is my device recovery file. Let me paste it here and rename it to TWRP for the ease of convenience. Now let's type in fastboot boot twrp.img and hit enter and our phone should now boot into wrp recovery in a matter of few seconds so let's just wait and then we'll move ahead the process of booting to recovery usually takes around 8 to 10 seconds so with this we are now in the recovery and now i'll do a format data as i told you before which will wipe off all the data from my phone and then we'll verify if the root has been removed and whether the Magis modules and the LS4 modules have been removed or not. So let's just wait for a few more seconds and then we'll move ahead. The first time boot up to TWRP might take up some additional time. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's wait for the time frame and then we'll move ahead. It should now boot into the recovery in a matter of few seconds. So guys, as you could see, we are now in the recovery mode. So now let me go to wipe and now I'll go to format data. As you could see, it will remove all the data in the internal storage. So type in yes and hit the blue check mark. And with this, I have removed all the data from my device. And likewise, if you want, you may also check mark the data partition and swipe to wipe. I've also wiped the data partition and did a complete format data. Now that we have removed all the data, just tap on reboot and select system so our phone should not boot into the os and as i have told you before the first boot up will take up some additional time frame which is completely normal and nothing to worry about moreover in the front end you will not see any app icons as before you will not see the magic app you will not see any ls post app or any module app icon but what we have to do is we have to verify using the Ruru app, we will verify if there are any files in the backend or not. And then we will move ahead with the next step. So let's just wait for the phone to boot up. So oh guys, let's now set up the phone. I'll skip the initial setup process and take you to the OS. Let me set up my phone offline. It will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait and agree to the terms and condition. Let me skip the rest of the stuff as well. So let's opt for this. So as I was saying, 
you since you have done a format data and factory set you will not see any third party or user installed app as of now you will only see the pre-installed app but that does not mean that the magisk is not installed onto your phone it might be the case once again that the magisk app might be there in the back end of your phone rather it might be installed in the system partition so just by having a look at the app drawer does not signify anything so as before let's install the ruru app and after installing the ruru app we'll verify if the root is still installed onto our phone or not so let me simply transfer the apk file onto my phone just a minute so it would be somewhere here so i'll have to switch it to usb file transfer and let's now transfer the file and now i'll have to install the app which will take only a few seconds so let's install it and launch it and now as you could see again is showing abnormal environment so it has found something upon expansion again it's the same as you file and the magic file but apart from that everything else is check marked by check mark it means not found so once again once you do a format data via twrp the root will still be there onto your phone your phone will be still rooted but all the other modules whether it's the ls post modules or any other such modules will be removed from your phone only magisk will remain and as you could see all the other modules and everything else have been gone from your phone apart from the magisk file so if you pl are planning to root after doing a format data all you have to do is simply install the magisk app as i've shown you already in this video but let me show you that once again so after you have done a format data or factory reset you just have to install the magisk app once again and once you install the magisk app your phone will automatically be rooted just install the app launch it it will ask for additional setup then tap on install next to magisk and choose select and patch a file and then hit the direct install button and your phone will undergo a reboot upon a reboot your phone should be rooted in rare cases magisk might ask you to do this job once again if that happens then once again tap on okay and select direct install and with this your phone will be rooted once again so guys let me just show you the status as well it will take only a few seconds so let's launch the magisk app and check out the result this is the magisk app so as you could see the magisk is installed onto my phone and my phone is currently rooted via magisk so in a nutshell after doing a factory reset from the settings menu on your phone or after doing a format data from the twrp or any custom recovery such as orange fox or pitch black recovery if you do a factory reset or format data the root will still remain on your phone you will not find the magisk or any such file in the in the app drawer or anywhere as such but in the back end the magisk and super sq file will still be there although all the modules such as ls post expose viper for android and all the modules will be removed both from the front end and the back end but the magisk and the root will still be there what you, if you are planning to root then all you have to do is simply install the magisk apk file once and then you just need to select the direct install and tap on let's go and with this your phone will be rooted once again so guys on that note i round off this video if you still have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.